Hey guys, TechieKHD here again with another video, and today I've got what's on my iPhone 2019. This has actually been probably the most requested video um, that I've ever had to do. I get countless messages on Instagram DMs, on Twitter, on YouTube comments every single day about uh, when I'm going to do the next what's on my iPhone video. Uh, people seem to care more about um, what's on my phone and not as much about where I've been, but you know, why not give the people what they want? Uh, so either way, I am still currently using my uh, iPhone 10. This is a 256 gigabyte um, unlocked model. Uh, I use this because I, I like iPhones and I like the camera and I travel a decent enough amount that I'd like an unlocked phone. Um, and so this is the 256 gig version. Uh, Face ID works flawlessly for me almost every single time, um, and I really like it for things like Apple Pay uh, and things like that. And so uh, this is still my phone. I haven't switched over to anything else. Uh, I'm probably going to get the iPhone that comes out this year. You guys might know that I don't really get the S models. I try and get, you know, whatever the new phone is every year. Um, either way, so this is the 256 gig phone. Space gray. Love it. Haven't used it with a case in a little while, um, but when I do use a case, I use the saddle brown Apple leather case. Um, and as for apps, you know, I, I have a, a decent amount of apps. Uh, these are things that I use mostly daily, and then there's also definitely always those apps that you don't use that often. Uh, so at the top, I have kind of the staples. I have uh, messages. I tend to use mostly uh, iMessage. I don't really know too many people who don't have an iPhone. Uh, WhatsApp Messenger to, to talk to people in uh, I have friends in other countries, and so that's always good. Uh, FaceTime, talk to my mom on this pretty often. Phone is just phone. Uh, actually don't end up using that too much. Uh, I use Siri to dial uh, and things like that. Uh, photos, I take pictures on my iPhone almost every single day. Uh, this is a pretty cute dog that I saw on the train the other day. Uh, Visco cam for editing all of my photos that you see on Instagram. Uh, again, this is probably already on there by the time this video is up. Uh, I have the YouTube app. Uh, I actually I'm like one of those people who just doesn't like watching videos on their phone, so I almost never use this on iPhone. Um, but it is there just in case. Uh, I have Facebook Messenger, uh, and that, you know, again, that's just kind of to, to text people. Um, Apple Music, I, I don't really use this. This is like the, the music app. I don't really have anything on there. Uh, Newton Mail, and I am so unbelievably happy that Newton Mail is back. For those of you who don't know, I've, I've been using Newton Mail since it used to be known as Cloud Magic back in the day. Uh, they went under a little while ago, they shut down, um, and then recently they were acquired by Essential, the company that makes the phone, um, and they're back. So I, I recently logged back in with my uh, subscription and it works perfectly uh, and it had sucked while they weren't around and you know I've been looking everywhere for like a good email client the one that I was using till now was uh, canary mail and you know in the vacuum of not having Newton that was probably the closest but even then by far but I couldn't be happier that Newton mail is back make sure to go check it out there's a 14 day free trial um, if you download today I have mail. Uh, I actually have notifications turned off for mail, so I don't get notifications here because I get everything on Newton, but I don't want to get rid of the mail app just in case I need to send something offhand using one of those other accounts or something or the other. I like redundancies. Uh, then the App Store, you know, I use this. I'm one of those people who actually likes to keep their apps updated all the time. Uh, you know, I have friends who haven't updated their apps since the day they got their phones, uh, which is just like appalling to me, but I like to keep my apps up to date. I have Facebook. I don't use Facebook as much as I used to anymore. Uh, this is, you know, not any sort of social backlash or anything. I just, you know, it's just not as interesting anymore. I've been a lot more active on Twitter and it's made its way to my home screen now because I, I tend to use it a lot. Uh, so if you guys would like to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, uh, I'm, I'm pretty active on there. I'd love to be able to talk to you guys on there. So make sure to hit me up. Uh, I share things pretty often and um, I just like the app. I, li I like the app and I like uh, the social network. I just, I was never a huge Twitter user, but I have become in the last couple of months and you know, it's been pretty cool. So I just have the stock weather app. Uh, you guys can see it's kind of chilly here. It's 31 degrees. Degrees. Um, sure, it feels colder than it feels like 20 degrees. I was outside a little while ago and it was freezing. Uh, Google Maps uh, for map things. Uh, clock, and this is mostly just to keep uh, track of different times that I need to know about because, again, I have family in different cities, I have friends in different cities all over the world. Uh, these are the times that I that I absolutely need to know. I need to know uh, Pacific Standard Time. I need to know East Coast Time, which is just the time I'm on right now. Uh, New Delhi. Uh, I need to know Paris. Uh, I have friends in that area. I need to know Dubai. Uh, I need to know Istanbul. So 
uh, that's kind of what I use that for. I also use timers every single day, at least twice a day, for uh, brushing my teeth. I, I don't have like a smart toothbrush or a quip brush or anything, so two minutes twice a day, you gotta brush your teeth. Um, for me, more often than not, it's almost three to four times a day. I'm a little paranoid about brushing my teeth. Uh, I have settings, which is just for settings things. I just updated to 12.2, uh, uh, so um, it's just a public beta. I, I like having the latest software. I have notes, um, I have Tinder. Uh, 115 matches now, so that's kind of crazy. Um, but yes, I, I, I have Tinder Gold, so don't judge me. Uh, in my finance folder, I have Chase for my credit card, Coinbase for uh, mostly for Ethereum now. I kind of um, not really in, don't have a ton of Bitcoin anymore. I have a little bit, but not as much as I used to. Um, I definitely have a ton of Ethereum, or you know, not to brag or anything, but I, I like to keep track of Ethereum. PayPal for PayPal things. IRS to go for taxes, uh, for tracking your tax refund. Uh, just did my taxes, so I'm waiting for my refund. Uh, the government owes me. Venmo for Venmo things, for sending friends money. Wallet Hub for uh, keeping track of my credit score. Uh, Stash for investing in ETFs. Uh, Citizens Bank is my bank, Robinhood for investing in stock, uh, Credit Karma for the same thing that I have Wallet Hub for, I like to, to get my info from multiple sources, Cash App for, uh, I use Cash App only with my dad because he doesn't like Venmo, he likes Cash App, so we use that. My Fed loan, uh, it's that time of year now where I'm about to graduate soon, so I got to think about paying back some of those student loans. Uh, Authy, which is an authenticator for, uh, I think I use this mostly for Gemini, which is another uh, crypto exchange. Uh, Bank of America for another account I have with Bank of America, Capital One for another credit card, Capital One credit wise also for credit, ADP for getting paid when I do work, Google Authenticator for uh, authenticating um, on Bitfinex, well I don't really use Bitfinex anymore but uh, then Gemini and Good Budget, I just got Good Budget to try and start budgeting but I do a better job without apps so I'm actually gonna Let's just be a little bit more authentic with you guys here and get rid of good budget because I don't use it. Uh, in my utilities folder, Dropbox, Skype, uh, GoGo, and Flight Entertainment for... I, I have a bunch of annoying flights back and forth, uh, east to west coast and back, so uh, that's always good to have. LifeX for my lights, SoundHound, uh, I like to use that instead of Shazam Measure, which is uh, Apple's AR measuring app. Bitmoji for Bitmoji things. Speed test for internet, WeChat for talking to friends in China. Duo Mobile, this is, I need this for school to log into Canvas for Brown and MIT. Panera Bread, haven't used this in a while. All the Google Apps, Confirm a Pay, um, CVS for my CVS coupons and things. Uh, to be honest, I haven't used most of these apps in a while. Slack, I, I guess I use. Um, and then Play Memories, which is the Sony app to get photos from my camera onto my phone. These are just random like sticker apps, I think. Um, travel, Uber and Lyft are probably my most used. I, I tend to use Lyft more than Uber, uh, simply because I get Delta miles from it. Uh, Bird for scooters, which I absolutely love these things. Uh, Delta Southwest Rider is just my, my school um, a shuttle service. Zipcar for zip cards. Lime for scooters also. Turkish Airlines is my preferred international carrier. I really like Turkish Airlines. Just flew them recently on some pretty long haul flights. Had a, had a really, really good experience and would recommend. Uh, Emirates, again, uh, Turkish Airlines and Emirates, I guess, are my, my two preferred international carriers. Um, I have American because you got to travel American every once in a while. Uh, I would prefer Delta, honestly. Delta and Southwest. Um, but, you know, I have the app just in case. Alaska Airlines, also a big fan. Uh, moving to Seattle soon, so that's a big hub for them. They work with Delta a lot, and I've flown them a couple times. Uh, MBTA for uh, my trains to and from Boston. I need to go a couple times a week. And Expedia for booking flights if those apps fail for some reason. Uh, food, I have Tallulah's, which is a local Mexican place that I love. Um, I, I've honestly used the app only twice. Uh, Instacart for ordering groceries. I tend to go in person, so I have this uh, if I absolutely need something and I can't leave for some reason. Uh, but I tend to go do my groceries myself. Uh, Kung Fu tea. A uh, friend made me get this because she wanted a free um, boba tea or something. Uh, Grubhub for ordering food and Uber Eats for ordering food. I only have these because sometimes Grubhub delivers something that Uber Eats does and vice versa. 
uh, Fantastical. I, this is my preferred calendar app. Um, I use Fantastical for everything. I have Fantastical. This is Fantastical 2. I have Fantastical for uh, Mac as well. Uh, Medium. Uh, I like to write on Medium, so you can follow me there. Uh, focus for uh, computational photography. It's a it's a really good app. Uh, lets you adjust your focus after the fact. Uh, Goat for sneakers. Bose Connect for my QC35 twos. Uh, Hinge, similar to Tinder, kind of just for meeting people. Notion. I absolutely love Notion. It's my new sort of like notes organization app. Um, I guess I just updated and it's logged out of here, which is annoying, but I, I absolutely love Notion. Use it here and on my Mac every day. Uh, Grailed for um, clothes things. Sweatcoin. Actually, I haven't used Sweatcoin in a while, but it basically pays you their like weird currency uh, for tracking your steps. So it's probably draining my battery. I should get rid of it. Uh, Keepsafe for none of your business. Uh, Amazon for um, ordering things on Amazon. Snapseed for... I, I really only use Snapseed for the clone tool that lets me get rid of like little marks and things in photos. Uh, Google Photos, I just have it as a redundancy. I honestly never open it, but I'll, I'll, you know, I'll open it. I'll get rid of a notification and I'll close it. Uh, eBay for eBay, uh, Nike sneakers for sneaker drops. I love Nike. Um, I, I'm not necessarily checks over stripes always, but you know, recently I've had some good, good pickups. Um, I got the Carhartt uh, Air Force One utilities, uh, which I love. So I got that through the app. Uh, Pinterest, again, I don't use this too much, but every once in a while, I like to to take a look at you know, whatever Pinterest things. Hyperlapse also, if I'm honest, haven't used this in a while. Uh, Spark, I like this for video product hunt. Uh, I'm kind of new to it, but I absolutely love product hunt. For a product designer, it makes so much sense to just waste so much time on there. Uh, Shazam, just because every once in a while I do use Shazam uh, when I'm not using SoundHound. Uh, files, this is just for iCloud storage. I just have the basic plan. I think it's 99 cents a month and it's like 50 gigs. So, you know, more than enough for me because I have like nearly three terabytes on Google Drive. Uh, Instasize, I only, uh, this is just the free version, I just use it for resizing photos for Instagram stories. Uh, June AI, June.AI, I'm still beta testing this, I work with them. Um, I've been working with them to give them feedback, try and help develop their service a little bit more, but it's a pretty cool email service, and if you guys would like to sign up, it's just June.AI. Uh, Prime Video. Um, actually, this just reminds me, um, the new episode of Grand Tour is out, so I'm going to watch it right after filming this, but Prime Video for that. Um, 36 questions to fall in love. Uh, I don't know if I've fallen in love using the app, but it's kind of a fun game to kill time with people. Uh, ways for when I'm driving. Uh, um, what is it called? Freaking apples in car thing. Uh, CarPlay now supports third-party... Um, directions and third-party maps apps so Waze works uh, inside of CarPlay now which is awesome. Uh, parcel track for tracking my packages uh, if this and that I normally use this with Cortana I have the Cortana home speaker um, and she's probably listening to me right now but I kind of use it with that just for turning things on and off and for services. Uh, LinkedIn for LinkedIn things, uh, Behance for looking at, you know, for design inspiration, DJI Go 4 uh, for my Mavic Pro, which I haven't used in like nearly a year, Apollo for Reddit, Burstio, I think this was $1.99 or maybe $0.99, cents, but it converts your uh, bursts into GIFs and videos, which is great, Castlight for uh, health insurance from work, uh, Feedback because I'm on beta software, Shortcuts for Siri shortcuts, uh, Taylor is a really great app that lets you stitch multiple screenshots together to make one large screenshot. Uh, T-Mobile, every once in a while I just want to go look at data or whatever. Um, I'm, I use T-Mobile for my carrier. Uh, I actually really like T-Mobile because it lets me get Wi-Fi and flights for free. Uh, Clear, still waiting for the new version. I just love Clear and I, and I really like the team behind it, but they're finally updating the app after like two years, so I'm, I'm waiting for that to come out. Blind, which is sort of an anonymous social network for people who work in the tech industry. Pretty cool. Yelp for Yelp, to do movies. This I just use every time I go for a movie and I see a preview that I like, I just put it in there so that I know what to watch. Uh, Netflix for Netflix, Airbnb for when I travel, SoundCloud for when I want to listen to uh, Drake and Meek Mill <laughs> um, hitting it off. Uh, Strava for, I don't really run, I probably should, but I just use this to track my, like, I go for walks every evening and listen to podcasts while I'm at it, but I like uh, just to track and know how far I've gone and where I've gone. Overcast for listening to podcasts, so I normally have these right, I want them together because I use them in conjunction. Audible for audiobooks, I've started um, listening to a couple more audiobooks. If I'm honest, I haven't spent too much time, I, I kind of got excited and got into it, um, and then I didn't end up reading too many here, but I, I got, I, and I ended up buying some of these books 
books um, in real life. I have 12 Rules for Life and Antidote to Chaos by Jordan Peterson, Rich People Problems by Kevin Kwan, uh, and Bad Blood, Secrets and Lies in Silicon Valley Startup by John Kerry. And then this was the first book I bought like a couple years ago when I got my Audible account. I got this was like a free download because I had to do it for school and I didn't want to read the book. It's Paradise Lost by John Milton. I ended up having to read the book. Snapchat, I haven't used this in like months. I, I really wanted to delete it. I had deleted it for like a good two months, but then uh, my friends Maddie and Danielle only use Snapchat instead of Instagram stories. So I have this literally only for the two of them. Hulu, because I get it for free with my Spotify subscription. Uh, cam Scanner, I actually love Cam Scanner. I use it a ton. It's a free app uh, and it lets you scan things with your camera and it does a pretty good job of it, better than what I think Notes does. Uh, TV, which is just the built-in Apple app. Background for my wallpapers, the wallpaper that I'm using on my phone right now is from there. RFV, which I think is rotate for video, it helps you like rotate videos. Uh, LD is lens distortions. This is cool for adding um, lens distortion effects to your phone uh, or to your photos. I have the My RISD app, which is just my app for school. Turo for renting cars. I actually like this because it lets you rent cars that are not like shitty airport cars. Um, this is just my Microsoft stuff. Uh, I have like a company portal for when I am at work. Uh, Word, because I like Word. Edge, because I work on Edge. Uh, Teams, OneDrive. I have a terabyte of OneDrive storage with my school account, which is awesome. PowerPoint, and this is kind of like our internal company rewards thing. Uh, UX, I'm a UX designer, so I use a bunch of these tools. Uh, I just have this here because I like to look at some of the stuff I'm working on on mobile and beta tests or alpha tests. I have games. Uh, the only games that I ever actually play, if I'm honest, are Tiny Wings, which hasn't been updated in a very long time, but I've always loved this. Um, and then Smash that I started playing recently. And then Brick Breaker, which um, I, my dad used to have a Blackberry when I was a kid. And so this was the this is like the an exact port of that game, but for iPhone. It was sort of the classic Brick Breaker game. Uh, that was always available on um, Blackberry and so uh, I just have this here because it's you know I, I like playing it um, I play Scrabble every now and again also but I haven't played any of these other games in forever Apple for more Apple apps. The only one that I use here is Stocks, but it's kind of redundant because I have Robinhood on the front page. Moderation, this is a new little tool I've been using to try and track what I eat a little bit. Um, it's kind of nice because what it does is uh, lets you just pick between healthy and unhealthy, so you kind of know exactly what you've been up to. So my breakfast was unfortunately not great. Lunch was uh, also not great, that's not good. Dinner was good, and I had like fruit and stuff as snacks. So today was kind of eh. But you know, we'll get there. Uh, Canvas, this is just for class, for MIT, for Brown, and uh, RISD uses a proprietary tool. Uh, and then Zillow, because I've been looking at apartments recently since I'm moving, so always get to have, I, I tend to spend more time on apartments.com on desktop, but um, every now and again, it's nice. I, I really only have Zillow on here because I actually download it on my iPad and then it just syncs apps over. Um, but yeah, uh, in the dock I have camera for camera things. Uh, Safari is my main browser. I tend not to use anything else. I only use Edge from time to time. Uh, Instagram, this is probably my most used social network. Uh, I'm here 24-7 pretty much. It's my most used app on my phone. I've checked my uh, screen time stuff. So make sure to go follow me on there. I'm extremely active. Uh, and then Spotify because I... Um, I love Spotify. I mean, I've been a Spotify premium member forever, uh, and I probably will be forever. But uh, that's about it, guys. That's what's on my iPhone for 2019. Um, I hope this has been entertaining for you guys. Uh, I know that this is like a popular video category, and I like doing them also. So let me know if you guys would like to see more videos. I definitely have other content coming up soon. Uh, either way, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.